Hi guys, I'm back with somewhat of an organizational video and kind of like my strategy towards hitting some of these makeup use up goals and my 16 and 2016 challenge. Uh, if you haven't watched those videos, I will link both of those below. Um, I have a couple organizational things, very simple, but the concept is just really going to work for me. So what I originally had is this type of thing on my bathroom sink. So I would see the lipstick or the lip glosses every day and I would be able to pick and use and I like that I can see it all. Um, but it wasn't as effective as I thought it would be because I was focusing on certain ones more. So what I'm doing, I'm going to go through that with you after, but what I'm doing is I got this heart shaped one from the Dollar Tree, one dollar, and I'm putting the stuff that I want to focus on first in this stuff that I have in um, Project Parent 16. Actually, I only have this one. I don't know where my Bite Beauty. I should have a Bite Beauty one that will go in there too. And um, will be my main focus. And then the other things are my other lip glosses and other mascaras, liners, and stuff that I want to use up, lip balms, uh, for my makeup use up challenge, which are those four categories, lip balm, lip gloss, eyeliner, and mascara. So I'm going to go through my initial things that I want to work on um, for the year. So you already know that I want to get rid of this NARS Turkish Delight. Um, I have, oh, I can mark it. You can actually see through it when it settles. Um, so yes, I just use my teeth. So I'm there. That's awesome. I'm so proud of myself. I love this NARS Turkish Delight on me. I believe I have a backup. So um, I won't be too sad because I'll have another one. Um, I'm also, I just started to use this. I'm going to put it on right now. My friend Margaret. Hi, Margaret. She usually watches all my videos. That sent me a really nice box. Gave me this Tarte Energy moisture lip gloss i've been just wearing it on top or underneath things it's very moisturizing it's just this little size it's just clear um i really don't have a ton in here i feel like if i use this the rest of the week i might even finish it and that'll count towards my makeup use up lip gloss goal so that's awesome then um another i have a fresh sugar balm now i'm focusing on two different baby lips but this is something else that I will be using after that. So I'm just putting that in this. Also, I have this Seal Bigelow Mentha Shimmer Tint. And it has peppermint oil and stuff. I want to start using this. This is really nice for the winter. And these are awesome. And I also have another one that I'll talk about in my other group like as a backup. Also, another little mini. Um, although this is a long wear lipstick, I probably will count it as if I do finish it towards my lip gloss I might change that lip gloss to lip gloss slash lipstick goal um and this is the Too Faced melted and melted nude it's gorgeous just won it in a giveaway from my friend Charisse and then another thing that I want to work through and is really gorgeous as well is this buxom gloss in Sophia another thing that I got from my amazing friend Margaret and I'm just kind of putting things back and then also something I just bought for a buck in a makeup sale is the Revlon's Peach Petal. Gorgeous. Another color. These are just the colors that look nice on me. And then also on um, the MAC lipstick in Angel. I don't, I always do that with lipsticks. You see that? I really need to work through that and get that. <laughs> but um, that's something, you know, I love it. And I might also just work on it. And then I just put, I only have one lip liner, but as you can see, and this was given to me from Autumn. Um, it matches like all of my lip stuff. So I just put it in there so it's with my lip stuff. So this is what's going to be on my um, bathroom sink now. Not this. This I got from eBay for 4 or $5 from overseas. Um, so you can get cheap alternatives for organization. But I'm going to work through what I have on here just to talk about some of the stuff that I want to work through and such. So I have two liners, the Kat Von D um, Tattoo Liner and Trooper and also a Marc Jacobs Black Liner once I work through the Ulta one, which um, I don't know how long it's going to last me. It's very creamy. Um, then I'm going to move on to this one. The Ulta one 
is in my finish 16 in 2016. Then also, you know, I'm working on the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer. So the next uh, primer that I'll work on is the Ulta Primer. Um, I think this is going to be similar to the e.l.f. Oh, I never swatched it before. Interesting. Um, but I guess we'll see because I'm kind of sick for Urban Decay and I only have like a travel and a like a sample size, but if you know how those sample size ones work, you'll last like two weeks with it. I need a break from it after that. So then I have some um, travel, like the deluxe sample mascaras I want to work on. I'm working on the perversion. It's starting to get really clumpy. So I think I like it that way. It, I like the way it looks, but it's only going to last so much longer. So I have the Lancome Hypnos Drama I want to work on. I have so many mascaras, guys. These are the ones I just picked. Uh, the Pure Volume Vixen. And then also, I love this one. It's the Bare Minerals Flawless Defining Volumizing Mascara. So those are like, you know, my, they're waiting, they're on deck. You know, if you play baseball, they're, they're on deck. So then I have two um, MAC lipsticks that I don't wear as often. But um, this is uh, a Frost and Strayin. And I need to work through this. And then this one that I don't wear that often, but it looks really nice, is Viva Glam 4. And then I have another Baby Lips, but I'm working on two right now, so that's why it's not in the on deck category. But it's this plum one. It's actually really nice. And I have a Lavender Mint Lip Balm. So once again, another lip balm. I also have the Melted Fig. Um, melted. I have a bunch of, um, I, this is my other CO Bigelow Menthol, but this is like the brownish one. Which is nice, but I like that pearly one the most. I have several of these Beauty Rush lip glosses, the Cupquake, and the Slice of Heaven. I really need to try to use as much as possible this year. These are super old. This Candy Baby um, page from Thrifty Beauty sent me. Really sweet girl. Um, so this one can wait. That'll probably be the last that I touch out of those because it's the newest. Um, and then I have this gorgeous Revlon... Um, Ultra HD Lip Lacquer in Petalite, and this will be like spring and summer. Don't mind that it's dirty. I have a bunch of lip jellies by MAC, Shaboom, and Amber Russ. Um, these are gorgeous. I mean, Shaboom, wow, I should mark that. It's crazy how much has actually been used out of Shaboom. And this one is a backup. I've used an entire one of this before, so we're there. So I guess it's smart that I start marking some of this stuff. And then um, I already marked this one. This is the Essence Triple XL Shine in Bright Side of Life. Another coral. So this will be a spring summer color, you know, and I haven't used as much. I did just finish um, another Essence Triple XL one. This is my backup of Bite. This is what um, will be going in the other one because I'm working on one of these tiny ones. Um, for my finish six, 16 in 2016. And then the last thing is this e.l.f. matte lip color. Once again, it's another coral. You know, I have that much. And I probably will work on that with one of the coral lip glosses in the springtime or in summertime in a project. So I'll work because I'll wear that. It's very matte and kind of dry. And I'll need a gloss on top of it. So that's another way to strategize is how you can use products differently or together so that you get the most out of them. So that's kind of how I'm organizing everything right now. So now it's like, okay, I finished my mascara. Boom. I want to use this one now. So I'm organizing. It's not just pulling random things out. I have a plan and having this plan and seeing these things is really inspiring me to use what I what I need to use. I need to use this stuff, guys. So I hope this inspires you to maybe get a little more organized or just to have a game plan. Don't just go with it. You know, have a plan. These are things that I want to finish. I'm making myself accountable by making this video and, and putting it in these containers and saying, Jessica, you need to use these. You're not filling up this container with more stuff. You're using what you have. So I hope this inspires you guys. We're going to have the best year. I'm telling you, we're going to empty things. We're going to use these 
these things. We're going to get our money's worth and um, it's going to be an exciting journey. So I hope that you stay with me and see my journey. I'd love to see yours. If you're doing these type of videos, please comment below. I will come subscribe, watch some of your videos. And um, I'm just so motivated. I'm so motivated. And when we use all these products, we're going to look so much cuter, you know? <laughs> like I put makeup on just to film two videos and to use my products because a lot of my makeup products in my Finish 16 and 2016 are just things in my everyday makeup bag. So I'm doing it to use those products, but also, you know, just wearing makeup makes you feel good. You know, just wear it for a few hours, even if you're not doing anything, you know, feel good for yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you all. Good luck in emptying and I'll talk to you later. Bye.